Hello, you're through to Crafts at Home with Lisa. Um, I will be getting around to showing you some crochet soon, um, but I wanted to show you just quickly um, a book that I ordered. Um, it's Fairies, Names and Trolls, and it's to be made out of Fimo clay, um, or polymer, air dry clay, oven dry clay, it's up to you. And I just wanted to show you a couple of the pictures inside it, because I'm quite excited about it, to try some of it. And um, I just wanted to show you and uh, let you see what else is in there. Okay, the book is Fairies, Names and Trolls by Maureen Coulson. Um, I only got it today. I ordered it offline. It's got 15 enchanted product, um, projects in there. Um, and I just really wanted to go through and show you how clever this is. It's a how-to. I'm fairly new to um, clay. So I thought this would be a bit of a, a fun, exciting thing to have a look at and to have a go at doing. Um, don't be put off by it. The pictures are very, very um, detailed for the items. But it does show you step by step on, on what to do. So if you go through, it just gives you some idea. A little bit about her um, and what inspired her to write the book. Just little bits that are in there, things that she used, the things that she uses. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah. So this side you've got all the sculptor's tools. This side you've got a um, food processor, a pasta machine, um, and just little notes in the corner that tell you just little handy tips and things like that. Uh, she takes a closer look at the characters. And what she's actually doing, how she starts them, how she sort of makes them. She then goes through the basics of shapes and how to achieve them. And then we get on to bringing characters to life. How to do faces, bottoms, mouths. Um, some stuff's pre-baked, which works very well. And how to treat the, the polymer clay as like a fabric. So it's like working like a fab with a fabric. She goes into more details about hands, feet, absolutely amazing. And then she does um, about faces, how different ears and all that sort of thing. How to bring a face to life, basically. And I just, and this beautiful fairy garden look, fairy uh, door, which I will be having a go at that, probably that would be my first thing. So it goes from step to step on and, t and shows you really how to um, for, for, to achieve the end result, which is beautiful. It really is beautiful. And then it keeps going through then. So this is the next one, this little lady here. And it goes through detailed um, how to achieve that. Um, this, a spriggle of sprites, it says. So it shows you different ones bottoms and wings and leg shaping and all that sort of thing then we've got this fella oak heart will his name is the spirit of the trees now i like this although the clay work's not tidy enough for me i'm a bit an ocd um i like smooth and things like that so it shows you there how to achieve his mouth his eyes nose and then this guy i really like this fella the green man the spirit of the green and growing things. I really like him. So he's definitely one that I should be having a go at. I'm not entirely sure I'll get it as good as that or nowhere near as good as that. But I will give it a go. Um, tells you how to build his face up. Starting off with um, foil. Putting the clay over the top. And then it shows you how to, to make his eyes. We don't have to actually make his eyes. I think... Uh, Shape master nostrils, press in the round nostrils, make the eyes, place egg one beige, three quarter meal, born in each socket. Oh, she does, she makes each, each eye, so that's brilliant, but she shows you how to do it, which is great. Then you've got another chap over here, the spirits of all season. Um, so they're a bit of a, a dodgy looking fellas. But she actually uses twigs, I think, in this one, um, by the looks of that. Choose twigs and vines, the frame. Vine tendrils can be made curly. Flatten the leaves. Flatten them, flatten them, bell the edges. 
Yeah, no, that looks like, to me, that looks like his actual twigs out of the garden. And she makes the grass and the vines. This is the, a rock troll. He also looks pretty funky. Not sure on whether I could make it, make him without um, getting some sort of OCD going on. I like him. Uh, Toadstool, Toadstool Gnome. He's very cool. Uh, tells you a bit about each thing, what you will need, the materials, um, acrylic paints, grey for clay, garden gloves, paintbrush. It's very detailed on what you would actually need for each project. So again, that goes through step by step which is great. This is the most curious troll. Humboldt the fourth, the most curious troll. And again, tells you exactly what you need. There's a whole list of stuff down here. Um, optional pasta machine. I'm, I'm desperately looking for a pasta machine at the moment because I would really like to give it a go. Um, and I will be doing some polymer clay flowers at some point, which I will record and uh, invite you in to uh, watch that one. When I make some of these, I'm going to give it a go first, even if I just do a tutorial on hands and feet. I'm going to get me neck round it, and then I will um, put a video on of how to do hands and feet, my way of doing it. Uh, this one's the, the Troll of Extraordinary Beauty. She's not one of my... Uh, she's a bit of a funny one, isn't she? And then you've got, I like this, the Tree Spirit. Uh... Ever when and some more ever now. It's lovely. I think he's lovely. But they actually she puts a fairy door in the inside of this as well, which is really nice. So again, it shows you everything you need. And then she she pops a fairy door in there. So you've not only got his face on there, but you've also got a fairy door. And fairies sat around it as well. A known of un uncommon wisdom. There's your materials down the side again. Down the bottom, there's a um, like hints and tips and that sort of thing. Tells you what to use. There you go, and that's how to build him. And she actually puts clothing on him and everything, which is great. And then you've got a folk storyteller. Right from word sort of start to finish, um, and they put a hat on that one. The flower baby, sweet William, shows you how to make babies, all the faces and on and their little tummies and little bottoms and everything. Then clothing, arms, feet, pasta machine, which I'm desperate to have a go with. Uh, some beautiful flowers here. So that, that's just sort of the flower that she, she or he's led in. Um, so again, very nice. This one, Life Beyond the Flowers. Um, she actually uses a mould for the face. By the look of that, it's just a mould. Which I think I've got one of these. This one has got a bit of a funny mouth on her. I'm not sure about this one. The Playful Fairy. But again, it goes through and shows you how to do all her mouth and her dress, which is beautiful. Um, hair, wings and all that. This one, the fairy's best friend, is a frog. Looks fairly easy, simple to do. We might have a little go at that one at some point. It looks quite cool. The trickster elf. Shows you how to do it with his hat and mask and everything. Um and whatever he sat on and, and bits and bobs uh, a few tricks for Marvin he's got a funny old face this one I like this one as well the Alf King got all your stuff on the side here that you need this is quite a lot for this one and he's actually quite integrate underneath all this it, you, it's quite surprising actually so there you go through sword, his little pouch and everything is all down in this corner here just there okay and then it starts him off um, and then adds his face his clothing and it gets down to that bit there and then that's cutting his clothes out fitting it to his arms and everything and then doing his face and then there he is 
And it says wizard or king. So you can do them with a crown on or you can do them with a hat. This young lady is very pretty. The, guard, the garden fairy. Notes from Woodpecker Pete. Here we go again down here. It's Woodpecker Pete who gives you the, the hints and tips and that. Your materials down the side again. It's very pretty. Made out of wire this time rather than foil. Um, and wrapped around. And you put her hair on and then her face. Okay. And then there's her wings. Go on the back of this one which are very pretty. It shows you if there's different things that they use um, or different um, textures that, that bring us sort of holes and all that sort of thing. This is very nice, the mottled gold in with the, the purple is nice. <coughs> and in the back here, this is where you get all your patterns. So as long as it makes to fit on these, then it, it will make it a little bit easier. Got your index in the back as usual. And back page are some other books um, that Paula McClay, uh, Paula McClay, so that's Class for the Garden. Uh, lady characters, uh, clay characters for kids. That looks quite good. I have a seven year old, so it might be something I'd be interested in for her. And Paula McClay for the fun of it. So it just looks like stuff from around the house. So there you have it. My beautiful new book. I was very, very pleased with it. Very pleased with it. Altogether, that's got 15 um, projects in there, which is a good amount. They do look very hard. I will have a little go at one or two, and then, providing I get on okay with it, I'm going to record it. So, I just wanted to let you know about that. Any other books I get, I will endeavour to let you know, and I will be posting soon um, some information and a, a video on how to make my um, crochet squares. And... I will. I do want to do one as well for using a mould um, and getting out the, the stuff with air dry clay, DAS air dry clay, and with FEMA, FEMO, so you can kind of get the drift of both. Um, so that's it for the time being. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and uh, I'll speak to you soon.